Hello all, Dr. Preeti Muli here from Symbiosis Institute of Technology, Pune here. And uh, through this uh, video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a bibliometric paper content using Web of Science databases. These are the contents uh, which are covered in my PPT. I'm going to discuss about the Web of Science initial screen, the document search uh, option and other options which are available uh, on Web of Science website different settings and advanced search options which are feasible then how to give a query to web of science database and the results of that query how the journal ranking can be analyzed in the paper analysis of other detailed results graphical and tabular form both what's the difference between the organizations and homes and organization tab given by web of science citation report and how to download different graphical details given by web of science tool but before we explore this web of science database in detail uh, i request you sincerely to keep a list of impactful keywords ready from your research domain and keep a fresh new word file ready with the following template the general template of uh, in bibliometric paper uh, includes title of the paper, authors, affiliations, abstract and the keywords, introduction and the related work, followed by bibliometric or scientometric analysis, conclusion, future work and references. Now, this is the first screen of Web of Science uh, after typing Web of Science in a Google or any other search engine. Uh, this kind of screen appears in front of the user's eye. Uh, there is a basic search tab which is active as of now. In this uh, particular rectangle, the blue rectangle, kindly give the keywords which you want to search from your specific research domain uh, for which you want to do the bibliometric or scientometric analysis. To specifically perform the scientometric analysis, there is an author search tab next to basic search tab. Kindly press that, give a specific uh, or you know predominant person of your research area who is working in that area for a very long time and then press the search option. In addition to that, it is also possible to specify the time span, like say like for uh, example, last five years or last 10 years of research analysis, if you would like to do, then that option is also feasible uh, on the Web of Science portal. Now, in addition to that, uh, as shown uh, in this particular screen, uh, I'm interested in knowing the publications related to incremental clustering and incremental learning uh, keywords. Now, incremental and clustering are the two different keywords, but I would like to make use of it as a single word and hence it is enclosed in double quotation mark. Same is the case with incremental learning, uh, as even though these two are the two different words, but I would like to make use of them as a single word and hence it is enclosed in double quotation mark and concatenated with and operator. That means I'm interested in knowing the publication uh, which has incremental clustering and incremental learning in it. It is also possible to make use of OR operator here. And uh, next to this uh, keywords query, there is an option, there is a download arrow wherein there is topic, title, author, publication name, etc. and the list continues. Uh, if the user is interested to knowing the publication uh, wherein the incremental clustering and incremental learning appears in the topic, then kindly choose the topic. If, uh, if the user would like to have incremental clustering and incremental learning as a, a part of title, then choose that. Or as a part of journal name, then choose publication name, etc. And then press a search. Uh, in addition to that, I'm going to show you what are the other additional settings which are possible in the next screen. Now, uh, uh, it is also possible for the user to choose a specific uh, specific uh, indexes of Web of Science. Uh, if, if you want to explore all indexes, uh, then select all. By default, all the tabs are selected here. And then press search key. This is the screen which appears in front of your eye as it is visible on the leftmost top left hand side topmost corner the 14 documents which are fetched as a result of the given given query my query was incremental clustering and incremental learning uh, there are 14 
papers which are published till date related to that uh, set of keywords. Now, if I would like to know the, the particular journal's quartile detail, then uh, I need to press on the journal name and this kind of screen appears in front of your eyes. And now here the journal name is Python Recognition and it's in quartile 1 category. In addition to the quartile details, it also shows the publisher details, ISSN, ESSN and all other required details related to that journal. Now let's see how uh, the other details related to these 14 published papers can be analyzed. So kindly press this particular analyze results tab and this kind of screen appears in front of your eyes. If you would like to know uh, per year how many papers are published in web of science related to the given query then this kind of a bar graph is generated. Now, uh, in the visualization tab, uh, there is a bra bar graph and a down arrow key. So, if you press the down arrow key, there is a possibility of one more option called tree map. A colorful tree map appears in front of your eyes instead of bar graph. So, there are two options which are given by Web of Science. Either you may generate a bar graph for analysis or a tree map for analysis. You may uh, copy paste these uh, graphs in your document in your paper or you may download these graphs in the form of jpeg or bmp or different files and then uh, put it in your folder in your document so on the left hand side in the gray area the publication years is highlighted at this moment and hence uh, this bar graph is related to the number of publications in a web of science till date uh, in addition to bar graph or tree map, it is also possible to uh, have a tabular form of details related to the publications and uh, it is uh, given below the bar graph. So just scroll down on that screen and uh, this kind of uh, a tabular form is available. This table also can be downloaded uh, in the form of CSV file. So kindly press the button, uh, you know, below on the uh, right hand side uh, at the uh, uh, downmost uh, position there is a download uh, gray color button so kindly press that and it is possible to download these details in the form of csv file for the further analysis as i was talking about the tree map this is the optional uh, graphical representation for bar graph so this is a very colorful graph which is uh, given well uh, created by web of science and now let me uh, tell you the difference between organizations and organization enhanced. Organization enhanced uh, is a different category of organization which are, can be referred or which are generally referred by multiple users in multiple ways or uh, there are uh, there are universities having many institutions which are affiliated to that university and hence there is a possibility of using that uh, organization by different names right and such organizations are uh, termed as organization enhanced and if there are individual institutions or individual universities which are involved in the research then those are called as organizations just the organizations Okay, so that's the difference between organizations and organization enhanced, which is given in web of science only. Now, on the uh, left hand side of every screen, uh, the user will observe a gray uh, area, and in that gray area, a list of possible uh, options are given by web of science, and it is possible to create a bibliometric or scientometric paper uh, based on all these possible options. All these options are uh, enabled and if if the user clicks on a specific option right now the option which i've clicked is countries and regions and hence uh, the three types of uh, possible details are given one uh, is the you know tree map or a bar graph and another one is a tabular form both of these are downloadable and on this gray area is consistently available on the left hand side of every screen on the web of science portal now, in addition to these graphs, it is also possible to know the details about citations. I mean, how many people in the world have cited these published papers? And it is also possible to download these reports, tree maps and bar graphs as I was uh, talking about by pressing a download option. So, let's see how the uh, citation report looks like. 
so this is the screen the first screen of citation giving the citation report and uh, the total publications are uh, were 14 uh, h index related to this publication is 6 and some of the times uh, these 14 publications are cited are 433 and without self citation it is 429 and even the graph is created uh, showing the number of citations per year uh, for these 14 uh, publications in addition to this graphical and numerical details it is also possible to get a tabular details of all these 14 publications wherein uh, you know the uh, titles of the publication the papers are given in addition to authors the journal name issue volume etc and in front of that uh, from 2016 to 2020 how many uh, people have cited this paper per year its total and average citation per year all these details are also given uh, you can take a screenshot of these details and put it in your paper or download these details in the form of a csv file for further analysis it is also possible as i was telling you about a problematic survey bibliometric review and bibliometric analysis paper using web of science details and also a specific author specific institute specific or organization specific paper from the scientometric paper using web of science details to create a scientometric paper there are various possibilities on the first initial window initial screen instead of clicking on the document or a basic search click on authors tab fill the details of a predominant author in your uh, specific research area and web of science will fetch all the required details for you in the tree map uh, the in authors tab uh, it is also possible to click on a specific author's name to know the entire details about that author it is also feasible to create a comparative analysis bibliometric paper comparing uh, the contents given by Scopus and Web of Science in one paper in the form of graphs, tables, etc. So now uh, I am at the end of this uh, PPT and video presentation. I thank you all uh, for patient listening, and it is also possible to create a bibliometric paper with work crowd analysis by ranking the authors or the team of authors uh, it can with the focus on citation with the focus on analysis of position of authors that means if the author is a first author always in all the publication that kind of analysis is given in which publication the author is at different position etc the sequence of authors and many more possibility of uh, analysis in bibliometric or scientometric papers so for any further query uh, kindly contact me at this particular email id once again i thank you all for patiently listening and i hope uh, this uh, video will be useful uh, for all the listeners and uh, of, uh, related to their research work all the best for your research and all the best for crafting uh, successfully crafting a bibliometric or scientometric paper thank you so much